few days ago, Joe, one of the people taking the bubble crash course, asked the following question in our community. He wanted to replicate this animation. So I sent him the following video explaining how I would do it. Okay, so let's see how to achieve this animation. I've replicated it in these two groups. The first one is without a transition and the second one is with a transition. And I'm gonna be showing how I did it. So I took a group, then chose an image as a background. And in the conditional tab, I added this condition. When the group is pressed, please add a border. So I'm gonna turn the condition on just to show how it will look. And it will basically make the image smaller. And because this border is transparent, it won't show a border. But if it wasn't transparent, this is what would appear. The border style doesn't really matter. But what matters is the width. If we make this bigger, maybe 50, then the image will turn smaller as this increases. And now the reason I, I put a second one here, let me turn this off so that we're not confused. The reason why I put this second one here is to show the effect of the transition. So I have chosen to change the border width in 200 milliseconds instead of instantly. And this is a bit more smooth and I think look, looks better. So we can see here how the change is not instantaneous and the animation is a bit better than here. You could also choose to do it on hover. I think that's a, a good use case as well. Sometimes you want to, to make an element bigger when you hover. And if you do that, this is how it will look. So here now, if we hover, I'm not pressing and it's changing its size. If you wanted to do it the other way around, if you wanted to increase the size of the element, you could add the border at the beginning here. So in border style, you could choose to make it solid and then change the width to something like 50. Make sure that the border was transparent and then change the border width to zero or to something less than 50 in the conditional tab when it's hovered or when it's pressed. So you can do this um, two ways. Hope it helps.